Hello guys, this is our tutorials, and uh, today is just a really quick tutorial again uh, on Zenon 4D. Something I discovered a few weeks ago. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering about uh, about the contest uh, winners, their speeders are going to be uploaded in uh, the next few days, so don't worry about that. Uh, anyways, so let's start the tutorial. It's something, as I said again something I discovered a few weeks ago it's it's been right there uh, but I never noticed so yeah let's let's create a text first <clears throat> mo graph mo text um, and if you've been watching my tutorials uh, you know the drill usually put the depth to uh, about 50 and I use the fillet caps on the start and the end and the radius I like to use is uh, 2 centimeters and steps about 15 per each okay yeah if you you can change the font let's change the font actually uh, whatever this font okay oh and I forget to show you the preview of what we're gonna be doing and uh, this is the actual preview so as you can see the text uh, turns and it's a cool thing that I discovered because you can uh, you can decide where it turns by just dragging the mouse wherever you want it to so uh, let me show you what I'm actually talking about so yeah after you created your text now go to MoGraph Effector and select target and make sure that when you do that uh, you select Mo Text. okay so as you can see it's already facing the target and if you go like this it spins around okay and if we drag the target over here he follows it always facing the target so as you can see it's really cool um, so yeah let's actually create an intro out of this so let's now let's create a camera uh, okay then hit camera scene cameras camera and let's just position it where you can see the text better okay and then just uh, keyframe it okay so now let's work with the target um, let's first start as in that intro I started uh, right here but almost behind almost like behind the text just a little bit off just a little bit beside it okay and let's keyframe that okay let's keyframe it so go to frame 0 and then hit the keyframe uh, whatever button okay and then go to frame uh, 30 or maybe even uh, 45 and drag this across like so and just on the edge of the screen so it goes like that and then it uh, and then go to frame 90 and drag this like right here just a little bit farther so the text is like this and then keyframe it again and let's increase the number of frames we have so we have 90 right here two arrows to increase the number of frames put it to about 150 okay um, so you can see what happens now 
first it goes like that turns and then uh, and then we need to we need it to quickly uh, turn to us so after frame 90 when it turns like this uh, put it to about frame 105 or even 100 just a little bit less so it's like 10 frames from your uh, last keyframe and drag this in the middle of the text and then far away as far as you can no actually no uh, just drag this right about here just on the edge of the text and then farther away okay so you can see what's gonna happen now and it, and it uh, spins really fast but now it looks cheesy when it just stops so we're gonna continue uh, you know kinda moving it so go to frame about 140 and move this far away and also more in the middle of the text okay and like really really far away and then keyframe it again so let's watch what happens has a quick spin and then it kinda goes away so uh, you can do better you can mess around with that you can do whatever you like it's really up to you I'm just showing you guys a little quick thing I discovered it's really cool so uh, thank you for watching guys uh, and see you next time